Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu, you know me for a lot of automation with UiPath. We have the Salesforce Connector Service, now Connector, Jira, Confluence, and so on, and we have the new series with Learn UiPath in five minutes. Today we'll talk about Salesforce, and on Salesforce, a lot of you ask me how to send an email yeah, from Salesforce and so on, and I have some videos for this, but it's how to put it inside of... Um, um, inside of Salesforce database and so on, and sometimes the email is not sent. So I search and I learn for this quick action, and today we'll talk about um, how to use these uh, quick actions, yeah? And with these quick actions, uh, we'll be able also to send um, emails. So the idea is like this, uh, inside of your design of Salesforce, you can have here some uh, panels where you can do a quick action on a case, on a account, on depends on how your Salesforce is it's configured. And um, via REST API, it's, uh, it appears that this will be able to call via quick actions. Let's understand how we do these calls and how we are able to get the items that we have on these uh, quick actions from your iPad. Yeah? So uh, on your iPad Studio, I will go first and um, here you will see that uh, I have this, um, so I have the connection with the uh, Salesforce um, application scope um, with the extension package. So with um, uh, if I have the Salesforce extension package, um, then uh, I can send the REST API command. And on this REST API command, uh, I will send um, an, a comment here. I change also the, the version, so I put um, I say that I put my own version and I put 54. You can put also without without the version. So I send this quick actions, but first I want to understand from where I get this quick action to know. So for example, in my case here, I send an email, yeah. Um, and uh, let's let's run this one to see that I send an email. So I send an email. I have here and um, this is my. Um, the, this is my JSON, but I will explain step by step how I will uh, will um, will do this. So um, here is my uh, Gmail that we receive. So I'll run the robot, and you'll see that my Salesforce. So the robot uh, send a quick action to the Salesforce, and um, if we look on the um, if we look here, he will send an email from Sinegulescu uh, to bigujiji at gmail .com, Yeah. So you can see I have this email with YouTube test and so on. So this this was a method for me to send uh, send an email from Salesforce to another address. Yeah. But let's understand deeply how I arrived to this one and uh, um, uh, how uh, how we manage this stuff. So first, to be able to to uh, to read these quick quick actions, you have here a lot of documentations on how you. Uh, use this quick action, uh, how you get the record, and so on. For me to learn, so to learn about my Salesforce system, to, to learn what quick actions I have uh, available on my Salesforce system, I will do it like this. Let's, uh, let's remove the, uh, the version because it's not mandatory. And I will say quick action, and I will say that I want to get. Yeah, so I will not pass a JSON. I will just put it like this, and I will say get, yeah? So I will get the data, yeah? And let's write this data. So let's write this data on a JSON file. So I will say here, uh, x2, yeah? So let's run this one, and the system will, will um, give me a list with the quick actions that I have in my, in my system. So let's go to this file, this one, and uh, let's uh, edit with Notepad++. Now with Notepad++, it's um, to be able to see it correctly. Uh, you go here on plugins and you go to JSON viewer. If you don't have the JSON viewer, you go here on plugins admin and you write for JSON, yeah, and you activate JSON viewer. I have it all, all, all activated, but uh, in my in your case, if you don't have it activated, you activate JSON viewer, and then on the JSON viewer, you will say format JSON, yeah. And here I have a list with all my quick actions, yeah. And uh, 
you can see that I have uh, uh, different quick actions for log, for new account, for new case, for new contact, and so on. Yeah? In my case, I want the email. Yeah? So I will go here and search for the email. I will search for the email. And I will see that I have this quick action to send email. Now, to understand what I can put on that, um, on that quick action, to understand what, um, what parameters I accept, I will see here that I have a default value. So you see here that the command is serv um, uh, service data uh, visual quick action send email default values. Yeah. So this one will provide me the de default values. The command of the quick action is this one. So this is the link. This is for the description and so on. So the, the interface give me a possibility to interrogate and ask and ask the server what he what elements it's able to uh, to get on that system. Yeah. So I will send the command like this and we'll see what we receive. So I will say quick action. I will go here. Um, I will go on my uh, on this one, and instead of just quick action, I will say like this, and I will say again get, and let's put this on data two, data two JSON, yeah, and we will understand what the system look for, yeah. So we will understand the format of JSON. So we'll go here, we'll go on data to JSON, we'll open with Notepad++. Again, I will go here on the plugins and I will say format JSON. And you can see here that I have the format. So what is, uh, what is uh, uh, validate? What is uh, the address? What are the fields? What are the fields that I'm able to, to complete there? Yeah. And from these fields, I will modify these fields and I will send my email. So, for example, to be able to send my email, I have this record. Yeah. So, what I will do, I will do on side of your iPad Studio, I will say, I don't want to the default one. I will say that I want exc. So I want the, uh, the X, X uh, just X, let's um, check it again. Yeah, it's just X, yeah. And then let's see what, uh, I don't want to write the file now. Disable this one. I want to see uh, the JSON, but I want to do a post. So I don't want to do a get, I want to do a post, yeah. And in this way, I will send the email. And let's understand what is here. So from data two, I learn what is the fields. But now when I want to send an email, I will say record. So I will define here, you see this one. So basically I will define another, um, I will def uh, define a vector. So basically I have a vector or record Then inside of the vector, I have that field, yeah? Any side of the field I have a file address from where I send the email, and I have um, I have an address where to send the email and the test. Let's say YouTube test, and I will say 840. Yeah. Yeah, test on YouTube in the morning. In the morning. Okay, so I will hit save and the system will send the, um, if I run it now, the system will send the, uh, so he will call the quick action from Salesforce. And after he will call the quick actions from Salesforce, if I go to my email, you can see that I have a new email that is sent by the Salesforce system via quick action. And you have test YouTube um, 840, it's 839. And um, uh, this is the, the email with test YouTube in the morning, yeah? 
that's the idea. Now, in some cases, this quick action can be configured inside of Salesforce to be with cases, yeah? So to be, um, uh, so you can respond with the email uh, from inside of case here, yeah? And the format for the JSON in that case is this one. So basically you will have a quick action to object case, um, quick action, send email. So you see that it's inside of S object case. And the, the record is the same. So the same format that uh, we use on the normal um, send email. And you have to provide him on the context ID. Um, uh, context ID it will be the ID of the case. So you have here the ID of the case. You copy paste here this ID of the case. And in this way, you will be able to respond on the email based on the, on the case. I don't have the Salesforce system configured for this. So that's why I'm not able to show you live this stuff, but I showed you uh, the way how you format this stuff, yeah? Now, if you don't want to use the, uh, the component, you can go and do the REST API. So you will do a REST API with HTTP request. And uh, you will first, you will you'll, uh, get your, um, you will make a post to get the authorization token. So you will make a, a get for the token. You will put your parameters here with um, with all your stuff, with uh, username, password, client, ID and so on. Be sure that on the password, you all add also your um, um, security token. Yeah. And then you will do an HTTP request. And on this HTTP request, you will use on the headers, you use the authorization, bear token that you have. And you'll do a post on the, <clears throat> here you get the instance URL from the request and you do a post with the quick action send email, yeah? And here you will build your JSON and you'll build your JSON like this. You have here um, uh, a video with, um, with how to create JSONs and um, on this video with how to create JSON, you have uh, multiple um, multiple examples how to create JSON on visualbasic.net. You have, as usual, on the GitHub, you have a code <clears throat> on how to create complex JSON. So you have JSONs here, and you have directly the, the code on vb.net how to create this JSON, yeah? To build your, your JSON. So that, that will be the approach for the, um, if you want to use HTTP request, you don't want to use the, uh, uh, the, the activity, yeah? So that's the idea with the quick actions. So if you have something that it's um, here on the Salesforce, on the web page, you have buttons or you have, um, you, know, you have fast shortcuts on the Salesforce interface and you don't know how to, uh, uh, to do this via REST API, search for this quick action, make a get on the quick, uh, quick action, see what command you have there, see what values you can uh, get from that command, like uh, I said, uh, see on my system, I see exactly what values I get from the system and then call the quick actions. And in this way, you will be able to do that um, uh, functions from the interface. In the case that I showed you, I send an email from Salesforce very fast. So thank you very much for watching as usual. Um, if you like my videos, come back to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment to my videos and tell me what else you want to see inside of my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.